The Patriots chose beauty over brains, did they? Can't say I'm shocked. So you're the boss around here? Not just around here. I'm a bigger boss than Big Boss, making me the biggest boss of all the bosses ever. Solid Snake Boss. No, that is not Solid Snake Boss. My, it's always so lovely to have family over. Isn't that right, Snake? Snake? Right, get down. Your assault only aids my theatrics, brother. Then by all means, have some more. Look, I'm Barry Bonds! Oh, about ten years ago, that would have been hilarious. Presidential treatment today. Now, not on my little buggy! Right, the Kasaka can't stand up to the Harrier, so you'll have to take care of this. You know how to use a missile as a jumping platform, right? Uh, of course you do. Good luck! I'll let you go out in style! Sir, I am trying to focus. You're tougher than I thought! If you keep shoving him right here, I think he's going to. No. All right, now they're dead. Oh, come on! Yay! I caught the ex-president! Who the hell invited Godzilla? Mommy, wherever you are, look! I'm sharing my munitions with the shell place! That Mom, little turd so got my eye! And the wrong oh, one, too! What I can do. Bam! Tear their fucking share. hearts out! Lunch break already. No arguments here. Hey, what's that? Oh. Vampire Jesus? Oh. Congratulations. You've reached the point where this game really starts to lose its shit. Let's go swimming, Mr. President! Uh... Hey kid, how are you holding up? I... don't know what anything is anymore. Don't dwell on it. It just gets worse from here. So, McFake name was a fake name? Your powers of perception are astounding. And you're really Solid Snake? Define really. Snake, you're a legend. Why on earth would you choose to come back to this amalgamation of cheap references and fourth wall fuckery? I'm here because I was assigned to this mission, not because I want to. Not because you want to what? You're one word short of a full- Shut up! Kid, let me tell you something an old friend told me. We're not the tools of would-be comedy writers, nor eccentric Japanese game developers. We fight because we choose to. That doesn't make any sense! I hate you and disagree with everything you say! We learned that a new Metal Gear was being developed here, and terrorists planned to hijack it. So we came here to stop them. I love you and agree with everything you say! Olga, Snake is here. He's been spotted in Shell 1. Fantastic! I can finish what I started two years ago. Whoa, whoa. Don't go getting any revenge ideas now. You have a job to do. If you didn't want me to do something about him, why did you tell me that? Because I love creating needless dramatic tension. You are to guard the president until the next verification. End of discussion. All right, then. By the way, could you push that lever to your left? Why? What does it do? My job? <laughs> I am so out of here. 
I'm in front of the room where they're keeping the president, but the floor is electrified. Don't test it. You'll be bacon. And not even the good kind. I mean Canadian bacon. Find a remote control missile launcher and take out the generator. Done. What? But the launcher was in the corner of the flooded basement. Colonel, I just want to get out of here. I've put up with a lot of suspicious crap from a lot of people today. Just please, let me have this, okay? Well, it doesn't interfere too much with our script in any case. Script? You imagined that. You imagined this entire call. <laughs> Mr. President? Yes. I'm Nathan Graves989, interviewer and president of the Abridging Community. I'm here to- What the hell is wrong with you?! Oh, sorry. I thought you were that woman. That makes it okay?! What in God's name were you planning to do to her?! Okay, look. Let's just switch over to Kodak. And please stop screaming. <clears throat> okay, I think I'm good now. Vampire, Jesus, Snake was right about you. I already apologized, didn't I? I think you've got a bit more than that to apologize for. Didn't you input the launch code for the terrorists? Yep. I was gonna help them out, but I changed my mind when I found out they were crazy. No, you mean the old man in the muscle suit, the nympho vampire, the rotund bomber on skates, and the weepy human shield were crazy? I know, I was surprised too, but I joined them because I sought power. Power to surpass the Patriots. Didn't the Giants beat them in the Super Bowl last year? That's a joke that's never been made before. No. The Patriots run the entertainment industry. Viacom, Sony, TV Tokyo, Capcom, all of it is governed by them. Even the White House. The White House is an entertainment corporation? Only the biggest one there is. Remember Clinton's affair? People couldn't shut up about it. And how many catchphrases did George W. Bush spawn just by talking? Hell, we've even got a plot twist. There's a black guy in the Oval Office now. Nobody saw it coming. It was bold, edgy TV. Nobody knows who the real patriots are. All I know is that every major decision comes down to a group of 12 obsessive old tycoons known as the Wiseman's Committee. Every abridger I've interviewed, I did on indirect orders from them, passed around between various people on their payroll. I just wanted the power they had, but Solidus had other plans. Solidus? The abridging community knew him as Simon Belmont 101, my predecessor, but in truth, he was a survivor of the Les Serpents Abregia project that birthed Solid and Liquid Snake, and was given the name Solidus Snake, because even the Patriots weren't cruel enough to name him Gas Snake. They allowed him to keep tabs on the community as its representative, until four years ago. He sent Revolver Ocelot, a trustworthy agent if ever there was, to Shadow Moses Island to inspire Liquid's revolution. But after the incident passed, the existence of Metal Gear Rex and the Genome Soldiers became public knowledge via the abridged snakes, and the Patriots tried to remove him from the picture. So that's why his account got banned. Correct. But that wasn't all that they had planned. If Ocelot hadn't helped them hide away, he'd be flipping that cape of his in hell. He waited until the Patriots' new Metal Gear project was complete so he could seize it and use it against them. That one that thinks it's a toddler? No, that was Metal Gear Ray. And it's so two years ago. Rather, this entire facility is Arsenal Gear, a new model of Metal Gear. Despite the fact that it doesn't fit the traditional definition of a Metal Gear at all, and is actually a giant ship with a bunch of nukes and Metal Gear rays inside it. Also, it has full access to every corner of the internet. It could delete every single abridged series on YouTube if the Patriots so willed it. Not just YouTube either. Mega Video, Daily Motion, any of those other shitty sites nobody goes to. Solid is planned to make the activities of Bridgers in the New York area blind to the Patriots. If he succeeds, then someone could complete an entire series and upload it en masse from a different location. Of course, this would also knock out things such as 911 lines and hospital equipment. He calls this plan Outer Heaven for some reason or another. Outer Heaven? There's two things you have to do. For one, Take this disc to Emma Emmerich, Arsenal's programmer. It's a virus that will f*** Arsenal's shit up. Alright, thanks. As for the other- KILL ME! What?! Ah! Did I do that? Son of a- Forget it. This is a running gag that needs to carry through every series. And this one's no exception. Because Quadros is a hack. And the Red Sox suck. Uh, uh. Right. What's your status? Oh, I'm fine. 
president's kind of dead, though. So did you know about this whole arsenal thing? Yeah, pretty much everything about it. And were you ever planning on telling me? What fun would that be? Snake, there's something I need you to tell me about. That thing on the tanker two years ago? No, I can just go back and watch that episode. But in the abridged snakes, Liquid seemed driven by the idea of outer heaven, and now Solidus is obsessing over the same thing. You were there, Snake. What really happened in outer heaven? <sighs> it was 14 years ago, and one of the most awkward building layouts in history. <laughs> 